You know, the big subject that everybody is talking about today is the economy. And if you listen to all the politicians out there and all the experts on the news channels, you're going to find out really quick they don't have a clue what's going on or how to fix it. Now, generally, gearheads don't care anything about this because we figure that all politicians are lying anyway. But when the price of fuel went over four bucks a gallon, people started to take notice. All of a sudden, fuel economy became a hot topic. And that brings up the number one question that we get emails about. How do you get better fuel economy out of newer model vehicles with some simple upgrades? Is that even possible? And what about alternative fuels? Are those even a viable option? What's the deal? That's what we're going to look at today. Now, when it comes to getting better mileage, there are some tips out there like keeping your tires properly inflated and not driving too fast and no jackrabbit starts, you know, things like that that they talk about on talk shows. But those are just tips. They're only going to do you so much. Now, we're talking about actual products that you can put on that will give you significantly better mileage and performance. Now, those products are out there. Just finding the ones that do what they say they're going to do is the trick. So today we're going to show you the top six things that you can do to a late model vehicle that are affordable that will give you better mileage when you're cruising, better performance when you stomp the gas. Okay, most people realize that an engine is basically just a big air pump. The more air goes in and out, the better it runs. And that means better fuel economy and performance. So the first thing we recommend doing is upgrading your air inlet and your filter, especially on these newer vehicles because they are so restrictive. Take a look at this. All the air for the engine comes in this tiny tube, goes into this box, has to be sucked up through the filter, goes through another restrictive tube down into the engine. That is not enough air for a V8. Basically what you've got here is an engine with asthma and it's killing your economy. A new inlet and filter will fix that problem. Now obviously there's a lot of these sort of products on the market, but when you start comparing numbers and really looking at things, you're going to find that K&N comes out on top every time with their high flow and filter, their non-restrictive tubing, the way everything fits and the way they stand behind their products. And look at this. This is going to flow way more air than that stock system ever thought. Now, since we are talking about new vehicles and products that anybody can put on, it's very important how easy this goes on. And basically, if you know which end of a screwdriver goes in the screw, you can put one of these on. The next upgrade is even simpler to do and just as effective, and that is upgrading your computer with a programmer. Now, there are some questions that come up about these things. The two main ones are, do they really work and how do they work? Well, it's pretty simple. Unlike something like this that's got carburetors sitting on it, today's modern fuel-injected vehicles are controlled by a computer, and they are not tuned from the factory to give you the best performance or fuel efficiency. So there's a lot of improvement out there just waiting for you to get your hands on it. The programmer will allow you to go in and change the parameters and the shift points and the, the fuel and the spark and all those little things that add up to a big deal. Something like that is definitely worth investing in. And Hypertech, Superchips, Predator, they've all got a good piece. Now, the best part is, all you have to do is plug this into the diagnostic port of the vehicle, and if you've got the ability to push buttons, you can install one of these. The third simple upgrade we're gonna look at has to do with a fire in the engine, and that happens through the lowly spark plug. Now, the design of the spark plug's been around for like 100 years. And it's basically a couple of electrodes with a gap between them. The spark happens in the gap, and of course that ignites your fuel and gives you your power. The problem is, if this thing isn't burning all your fuel, you're flushing some of it down the toilet. And these are notorious for doing that, because they get old. I mean, the, the gap gets out, they, they, get, they get fouled. I mean, there's any number of reasons. So what are you gonna do? You don't wanna put this back in there. Well, there is a new design in spark plugs. Take a look at this. This is a new plug from E3, and you can see it looks completely different than this conventional style plug. Notice the outer electrode almost looks like a cage that goes around the center electrode. Then you've got this diamond-shaped hole cut in the end. That allows the flame to blow out into the cylinder and burn the fuel more completely. Also, you don't have to gap these, and they don't foul as easily as these old plugs either. Now, I know that sounds simple, but believe it or not, these little rascals will actually make a difference, especially driving around town. And if you can figure out how to use a ratchet, you can put in your own spark plugs. The fourth upgrade is the simplest yet, and probably the easiest to overlook, and that is converting 
to synthetic oils. Now I know this brings up a lot of red flags for everybody because we've all heard over the years about these fantastic oils that are supposed to do all this stuff. So it's hard to know what the truth is. So let's take a look at what's going on here. Now obviously in any vehicle you got a lot of mechanical parts in the rear end and the transmission and in the engine and they're all rotating against each other causing drag and friction. Now if you could reduce the amount of drag and friction it would take less fuel to turn the parts. And that is what a synthetic oil does. Now, when you're shopping for oils, get something good. Get something that's got a reputation. I've been using Royal Purple for years, and this stuff actually does what it says it's going to do. Also, make sure you change the fluids in the differential, the transmission, the transfer case, and the engine if you want to get the full benefit out of swapping to synthetic fluids. The best part is, if you can pull a drain plug, and pour a bottle, you can change your own fluids. You know, ever since the economy started tanking and the price of gas started going crazy, we have been bombarded with requests about doing a show on fuel mileage. So we put together a list of six things that are easy to do, affordable, and will give you better fuel economy and performance. Now, we've already covered the air intake to get air in. We've covered the computer upgrades for electronics. We've covered spark plugs for more fire and we've covered synthetic oils to reduce drag and friction. The next two things have to do with getting air out of the engine. Now, like we said before, your engine is just basically a big fancy air pump. But getting air in is only part of the battle. Oh, you gotta get the air out just as effectively or the engine's gonna fall on its face. And that brings up upgrade number five, the catback exhaust system. Okay, so what is a catback exhaust system? Well, just like the name implies, it's a system that runs back of the catalytic converters. So on a car like this, it would run back here, start right there at the seam, and replace all the tubing, the restrictive mufflers, everything. The cool thing about a catback system, like these from Cherry Bomb, is that these are designed and built to fit exactly what you're working on. Let's take a look. Notice all of your hangers are welded right to the performance muffler as well as the stainless steel tips. So this is gonna fit right, it's gonna look right, and it's gonna sound right. Then, all your tubing is pre-bent, your hangers are welded on, and you also get all the hangers and clamps to actually mount this under the car. Because the point here is that they want you to be able to install this stuff. Now, all this adds up to better flow, less back pressure, and that means you're gonna get the performance and the fuel economy that you're after. The best part is though, if you've got a standard set of tools, don't mind laying on your back for an afternoon, you can install a catback system. Now, if you're seriously considering this, there's something else that is very restrictive in your exhaust that you need to deal with, the catalytic converters. Now, if you replace your stock cats with these high flowing cats, you're really gonna open up your exhaust system. Of course, replacing your cats is more expensive and more labor intensive than just doing a catback but the benefits are definitely worth it. The final upgrade also has to do with getting air out of the engine, and that's headers. And of the six things we've shown you, this is the toughest thing to do, but it's something every one of you guys can do. Now, you might be thinking, why would I need a set of headers, and what kind of headers would I need? Let's go take a look. This is a typical stock exhaust manifold. And as you can see, the exhaust comes in here, tries to make a 90 degree turn, and head out this little hole. So you've got all kinds of turbulence and back pressure building in here. This was not a good design. <laughs> it doesn't take a genius to realize that something like this, with its four individual tubes, is gonna way outflow something like that. Now this is a shorty style header. This is something you'd use on a street rod or a street machine or even a late model vehicle, any place where space is tight that's where you'd want to use a shorty header. Now, another style of header is the long tube design. Now, this is the one everybody used on their muscle cars back in the day because they built all kinds of incredible torque and horsepower with those long tubes. All right, another style of header is the competition header. Now, this is a long tube design, but you could always tell a competition header by the size of the tubes. I mean, look at those. That obviously isn't going to fit on just anything. Now, anytime we're talking about headers, the reason we recommend hooker headers is they have been around since pretty much the beginning. <laughs> they pretty much invented it. And they've got headers for every application you can imagine. So if you need headers, hooker's the place to go. 
And that takes care of the six upgrades that everybody has been wanting to see to give you better fuel mileage. Now, obviously, if you can afford to do all six of these, you're going to get the biggest benefit out of it. But if you can only afford to do one or two, that's still money well spent. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, you can see full episodes of some of your favorite shows at www.countryroadtv.com.